This is the most common way of displaying leader sets, but there's another way of doing this and it allows us to display abbreviations for longer numbers. Now, before we begin, in order to save us a lot of time, we're actually gonna be starting off by using my own personal game template, which I'll leave a link down below in the description too. Once you visit this link on the game page, you're able to click the three dots right here and then click edit in studio. And then that should open up the game directly inside of Roblox Studio for you. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this game template, essentially it includes the module framework, which allows us to write all of our logic inside of module scripts, a UI scaling script, which will automatically scale UIs to all device sizes, the profile service for easily managing and handling players' data, and maybe one or two other libraries, which just makes creating our games significantly easier. Now, even if you're completely unaware of what any of those systems are, none of those are very important to this episode, but if you're wanting to learn more about those systems, I'll leave a link down below in the description to about a three-part series where you can learn all the specifics about each of those systems. So feel free to go ahead and check those out once you're finished this video. Now, in addition to downloading the game template, we're also going to want to download a public library, which is essentially a module script that somebody has written and published and allows us to use. So essentially, this is where all the code is stored at for formatting numbers. Now, if you've never worked with libraries before, don't worry, it's very, very simple. Of course, go down below in the description and find the link to this developer forum post. Then, under the file section, what we're going to want to do is click the download link for the format number.rbxm file. Then, once you have that file downloaded, let's return back to Studio and add it directly into here. So, inside of the Explorer tab, what we're going to do is simply right-click on the workspace service, and then select insert from file. Then we should locate wherever the format number.rbxm file is that we downloaded and then select it and of course click on open. And then we should see that a folder has been added inside of our workspace. And inside of this folder, there's a couple of module scripts. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look inside of the replicated storage and we're gonna drag this folder and put it inside of the folder called packages. You'll see a couple of other module scripts stored inside of here, which are just other packages that come with this template. The term packages in Roblox is a synonym for libraries in case you have other experience with programming. So essentially, other people's code that we use inside of our projects are referred to as packages in the Roblox community. And it's good to create a folder and organize and keep all of them inside of a single folder so that you don't mix other people's code up with your own. So we wanna go back to the format number package that we just added and open up the simple module script. Inside of here, there's a variable called compact underscore suffix. And inside of here is a commented out line. Now, what we want to do is delete the comment part. So essentially, compact suffix should just be a table of strings. And each of those strings represents how your numbers will be displayed once they reach a certain amount. So with the default setup, once you remove the comment from it, at least, once a player reaches 1000 coins, it'll be displayed with a capital K beside it. Then once they reach a million, it'll be displayed with a capital M. Then for a billion, it'll be displayed with a capital B. Then a capital T for a trillion. And you could add even more suffixes here if you'd like to as well. But but I'm fine with capping mine at a trillion, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it just like that. Then let's go ahead and close out of the simple module script. We are done inside of the replicated storage and we can collapse the workspace and now we're actually ready to begin scripting most of the logic for formatting the leader stats. In order to begin implementing this, we're going to want to go ahead and update the player data service inside of the server script service. So let's go inside of here. Inside of the services folder, we have the player data service module script and let's go ahead and open that up. Now inside of here is where we load and set up the player's data for whenever they join the game. And it's also where we create the leader stats for the player and then also update them every single time the player's leader stats should be updated. Now, ultimately, if you're not too familiar with how our player data system works, I would definitely recommend that probably towards the end of this video, you go and watch the player data episode of this series, which is a quick video going over how we set up the entire player data system and how it all works and everything else like that. Now, to get started with implementing this logic, what we're going to want to do is go towards the very top of the script, and then we are going to want to create a variable for the format number module that we just added inside of the packages folder inside of the replicated storage. So above the player data variable, we're going to go ahead and create another variable which is going to be called format number and it's going to be set to require then we'll go inside of the replicated storage inside of the packages folder we then have the format number folder now we actually want to require a specific module script from inside of this folder which is the simple module script now alternatively we could require the main module script which offers a little bit more of advanced features but we don't really need that instead we'll stick with the simple module script because it's easily able to be used to achieve exactly what we're going for so now that we've required the format number module script let's go ahead and see where we want to use that logic at. now if we scroll down a little bit let's go to the create leader stats function when we create the player's leader stats that's each value that we create for a currency is actually a number value. Instead though, what we're actually going to do is create string 
values. The reason that we're creating string values is because this is what allows us to display the player's currency as something like 100k instead of 100000. So that's pretty much the main trick or thing you might not have considered. Instead of using number values, you actually just use string values, and then we're able to display the number however we want to to the player. So let's go ahead and update both the number values to be string values, and then we can also change how they're being displayed as well by updating the value. So instead of setting it directly to the value, which would be data.coins, what we're going to do is we're going to use the format number library, and then we're going to use the format compact function. Then we'll go ahead and pass through data.coins, so now that number will be formatted correctly. Then let's go ahead and do the same thing, but for gems down below. So so you can either copy and paste this or type this out yourself, but we're going to go ahead and say format number dot format compact and then pass through data dot gems just like that. Then what we're going to want to do is go a little bit above this function to the update state function. Now inside of here, if the action is update currency, then we go ahead and update the leader stats. So this is where we would also like to format the number as well. Let's go ahead and create a variable called amount, and then we'll go ahead and actually set that equal to this part of our code right here. Then let's create another variable called formatted amount, and that's going to be equal to format number dot format compact, and then we'll go ahead and pass through the amount. And now that we've formatted that number, let's go ahead and actually set that for the value here. So we'll say formatted amount just like that. And that's actually all that we have to do inside of this module script. So we can go ahead and close out of the player data service module. And now we can test this out by starting up our game and seeing how it looks. And now that we're in our game, I'm going to go ahead and press F2 to open up the admin commands. So I'll go ahead and adjust the player's coins and let's go ahead and adjust them by 1000. Now the player has a thousand coins inside of the leader stats that is being displayed as 1K. And if we look inside of the currency GUI, we can see that's being displayed as 1038. Now let's go ahead and just give myself 10,000. And now we can see that I have 11K inside of our leader stats. Let's go ahead and give myself over 100K. So now I have 911,000. Then I'll go ahead and get myself to a million and now we have 1.8 M. So I'll just go ahead and keep increasing our coins and we can see how those change every single time we get more and more coins. We can see that we're about to be over a billion. Now we're over a billion and we can see how that's being displayed and we can see that it just keeps going on and on. Now, another thing that we're actually able to use the format number library for is for formatting the numbers when they're displayed inside of our currency GUI. So to do this, we're going to go inside of the star player, inside of the star player scripts, inside of the controllers folder, inside of the GUIs folder, and then we'll go ahead and open up the currency module script. Towards the top of this module script below the players variable is where we're going to want to go ahead and create a variable for the replicated storage. So we'll go ahead and say replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage just like that. Then below where we've created the state controller variable, let's go ahead and create a variable for the format number library. So we'll go ahead and say format number equals, and then of course we'll go ahead and require that from inside of the replicated storage, inside of the packages folder, inside of the format number folder, and we want to go ahead and require the simple module script. Now that we've required that module script, let's go ahead and use it, and to use it, we're going to go ahead and actually update the update currency function. Inside of the update currency function, we're going to go ahead and create a variable called amount, which is going to be equal to state controller dot get state and then we're going to index that with the specific currency then let's go ahead and format the amount so we'll go ahead and create a variable called formatted amount which is going to be equal to format number dot format compact and then we'll go ahead and pass through the amount variable then let's go ahead and update where we set the text of both of the amount text labels so instead of setting it directly to the number, let's go ahead and set it to formatted amount. And then let's do the same for the gems amount text label as well, just like that. And then if we go ahead and test this out by starting up our game, once we get into the game, let's go ahead and adjust my coins by say 1,999. And now we can see that 2K is being displayed. Now I'll go ahead and give myself 500 coins and we can see 2.5K is being displayed. And then I'll just give myself a ton of more coins. And now we can see that I have 18,000 trillion coins being displayed right there. So we can see this is how we can easily use the format number library to format and display our leader stats or even our currency GUI. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure you smash the like button. Please leave a comment down below letting other people know that it did work. I and they really do appreciate it. It helps everyone out. And as usual, if you want to get access to all the scripts and the game file that we made during this episode, as well as a ton of other assets, you can visit monster.dev or my Patreon, link down below in the description to both of these. You can gain access to a ton of assets to easily create your next Roblox game, as well as support me in creating all the content that I create. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope that you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.